All right, October 31st, 2010 is a day that shall live in infamy as the most amazing Halloween party ever. Thank goodness it didn't rain that night because we blew the roof off the house if you catch him what I'm throwing. At one point, we had the police department, the fire department, and the paramedics there at the same time for three different reasons, and they stayed. That's right, they stayed. That's how amazing this party was. Uh, we had every costume imaginable, everything from uh, an Eminem's rapper to the rapper Eminem. You dig? Everybody was there. And then around, I don't know, 11.30, something really cool happened. Uh, John, the guy who was dressed up like Eminem, he took the helmet off of Darth Vader and started doing this rap. Uh, Won't the real father of Luke Skywalker please stand up? Please stand up. I can't rap, but you get the point. Well, this set off a chain reaction. Uh, all the guests started swapping outfits and costumes with each other, right? Um, we had uh, Yoda took Sarah Palin's glasses. He stood up on the table. Mm, from my backyard, Russia, I can see. Mm. Right? We had Elvis. He took the crocodile hunter's hat, right? <laughs> Crocky. I reckon that there's a South American brown snake, pretty mama. Right? Uh, we had Mr. T walking around in Pee Wee Herman's bow tie. The word of the day is pain, sucker! Uh, we had uh, O.J. Simpson. He took Michael Jackson's glove, uh, but it wouldn't fit. <laughs> Get it? Uh, Elmo was walking around with Scarface's gun. Say hello to my love friend. <laughs> right? uh, we had Chewbacca wearing a Richard Nixon mask. And he was just going up to complete strangers. <laughs> Which is Wookiee for I am not a crook. I think. Anyways, you get the point. It was hands down the most memorable night in the history of pagan-inspired holidays.